Now we are covering section 2.2. In section 2.2, we are solving equations involving multiplication and division. Your directions are to solve the equations. Our first equation is 3x equals negative 12. 3x equals negative 12 actually means 3 times x equals negative 12. To undo times, the opposite operation is to divide. So we will divide both sides by 3. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So a 3 divided by 3 would divide out and leave you with a 1x. So we could just write x there. And negative 12 divided by 3 would leave me with a negative 4. So x equals negative 4 would be my answer. The other equation that you have is negative 5m equals negative 30. Now I see that negative sign there, but it does not mean subtract. So if we read this another way, we could say it's negative 5 times m. And the way we undo times is to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. I know that a negative 5 divided by a negative 5 would leave me with a positive 1m. Negative 30 divided by negative 5, they have the same sign, which tells me I'll have a positive result, and that would be positive 6. Our next equation is b divided by 3 equals 6. Remember my goal is to get b by itself. So to get b by itself, I have to undo divide by 3. So the way you undo division is to multiply. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on the left, which means I have to multiply by 3 on the right. A 3 in the top and a 3 in the bottom cancel, leaving you with a b. On the right-hand side, you have 6 times 3, and 6 times 3 is 18. So your answer is B equals 18. My next problem has decimals. X divided by 2.9 equals negative 7.8. To get the X by itself, I have to undo division. And the opposite of division is to multiply. So I'm going to multiply on the left by 2.9, which means I have to also multiply on the right by 2.9. A 2.9 in the top and a 2.9 in the bottom would cancel out, leaving you with an x. But on the right-hand side, I have to multiply negative 7.8 times 2.9. To multiply these, I'm just going to uh, stack them on top of one another and multiply out old school. So 8 times 9 was 72, and I'll carry the 7. 9 times 7 is 63. 63 plus 7 would give me 70. Now I'll multiply the 2. 2 times 8 is 16. We'll carry the 1. And 2 times 7 is 14, plus that 1 I carried, and that would give me 1, 1, 5, 15. Adding up what's left, I have a 2 and a 6. I have a 12, and I'll carry the 1, and that gives me a 2. My answer is not 2, 2, 6, 2. Remember, when you're multiplying decimals, you have to count the number of places. My first factor has one place. My second factor has one place. So that gives me two places. So mark off two places in the product. One, two. So now I know I'm going to have a 22.62 two answer. We have to deal with the sign. A negative times a positive, they have different signs, and so your answer is negative.
if you printed out a note sheet to go by, you'll see that I skipped a problem, and now I headed down to E and F on your note sheet. My problem is negative x equals negative 5. The negatives make this confusing. But what you can remember is a negative x actually means negative 1x. Remember here I'm trying to get the x by itself. This is negative 1 times x, and the opposite of times is 2 divide. So I'm going to divide by negative 1 on the left, which means I also divide by negative 1 on the right. So a negative 1 divided by negative 1, that would leave me with a 1x. And negative 5 divided by negative 1 would leave me with a positive 5. And the reason it's positive is that two negatives, when divided, make a positive result. The other problem you see here is negative x equals 14. Remember that's represented to be a negative 1x. To solve this out, I'm going to divide by negative 1 on the left and divide by negative 1 on the right. A negative 1 in the top and a negative 1 in the bottom would leave me with an x remaining. On the right hand side, I have 14 divided by negative 1. They have different signs, and so my answer would be a negative 14. This concludes the first part of section 2.2. The remaining pieces of section 2.2 will be in a second video.